Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're gonna be figuring out what happens to Leopard Strauss after the end of the game. So Leopard Strauss was a big part of the Red Dead Redemption 2 storyline. So as I'm sure you guys know, he's a part of the Vanderlyn gang and he's essentially the accountant slash money manager. Uh, and he's in charge of all the money lending operations that the gang does. And long story short, without Leopard Strauss, there's a good chance that Arthur would still be alive because he's the one who has to go collect the debt for Leopard Strauss, which ultimately leads him to running into Thomas Downs where he contracts tuberculosis. So you could say that because of the greediness of Leopard Strauss, that that's what actually killed Arthur Morgan. Now, who's to say that he wouldn't have died later on down the line or even earlier? From there, we're opening up the butterfly effect, and who knows? Now, before we can figure out what happens to Leopard Strauss after the game, we need to talk about some details of his upbringing. So you might not have known that Strauss was born in 1846 in the poverty of Vienna, Austria. And by the age of 12, his brother was already a pretty petty crook, beating night watchmen for food scraps. So you can kind of see where his background comes from. Now, this is where things get a little bit shady. So Strauss's father actually sold his youngest nine-year-old named Anna away into slavery in order to provide for the rest of his family, which broke the hearts of her brothers. Can you imagine that? Strauss's dad sold his nine-year-old sister away into slavery. I'm sure you guys can connect the dots on what happened to Strauss's sister. It's definitely not good. Now, due to his health problems, Strauss himself was shipped off to the United States with his uncle at the age of 17, landing right in the middle of the New York City draft riots of 1863. The fiery and hellish-looking sight of war-torn Brooklyn gave Strauss's uncle a fatal heart attack, leaving Leopold all alone in an unfamiliar land. This is where Dutch Vanderlyn picked him up and inducted him into his gang, where he became the group's accountant and handled all the loan sharking businesses. Wow, so that is pretty crazy stuff that you might not have known about Leopard Strauss. And it might make you feel bad for him in a way that a lot of his family has died in pretty horrific ways. His sister was sold off into slavery. But then you realize a lot of the choices that he has made in game. Because as you start to do the money lending and other sins quest line, you start to realize that a lot of the people that Leopard Strauss lent money to were at the end of the day good people, just trying to make ends meet. It's not like he was loaning money to other outlaws, he was loaning money to like farmers and mothers and fathers, like really just nice, normal people. And Arthur would have to do some seriously bad stuff in order to get the money back. I mean, we saw him beat Thomas Downs to death, we saw him basically harass tons of other people in the game which put Arthur in a really bad spot. And eventually that ended up wearing on his conscience. And we start to see this in the final Money Lending and Other Sins mission, which is Money Lending and Other Sins version six. Uh, when Arthur actually goes up to Strauss for the mission, you can tell he's a little bit less eager than normal. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> hey, Strauss. How are you? About... <coughs> About how I look. Okay. Are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... The debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care. 
Uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. And it's during this mission where Arthur reaches his breaking point with Leopard Strauss because he actually had to go after two people that were just trying to survive. So the first person he comes across is John J. Weathers, who is a soldier who deserted from the army and he has a wife who's pregnant and uh, Arthur can actually choose to absolve the debt or demand payment during that. And then after dealing with John J. Weathers, he has to go to Ansburg to find Arthur Londonderry, who just died from being a foreman in the mine, but he has a widow and a son. And it's during this encounter that Arthur is just sick of the entire thing that Strauss has ended up doing. And when Arthur returns to camp, he actually has a conscious crisis and decides to throw Strauss out of the camp. Now, what's unique is if you have high honor or low honor, this interaction will be different. Let me show you guys right now what happens if you decide to throw Strauss out of the camp with high honor. And then I'll show you guys what happens with low honor. Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh, I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Getting rid of you. Your time-wasting maggot. Get your bag. I don't understand. Just I... get out of my sight. You waste my time, you depress me, and you're a parasite, sending me after losers like that. Yeah, that should do. You're an embarrassment. What are you doing? Be for partners! Yeah. Business partners! Go get a new partner! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was... I was your comrade. My comrade? <laughs> you're a creep. Creep in a parasite, ain't it, time waster? Now, take that. Take that! And don't annoy me. I'm... Leaving. So as you guys saw there, there were some big differences. Now, at the end of the day, it's the same result. Basically, Arthur packs up Strauss's belongings. He gives him some money and tells him to go on his way. But he does so in sort of a different style. If you have low honor, it's more demeaning. I think he calls him a maggot. If he has high honor, he's sort of regretful for all that he has allowed uh, Leopard Strauss to end up doing. So that's kind of interesting right there. But it sort of begs the question, where does he go? Because after that, you never see him again. Arthur tells him to get a real job and to go away. Well, the only other time we hear from him is actually in the epilogue. It's actually the first mission in epilogue part two 
called Bare Knuckle Friendships. And we actually get this information from Charles Smith, who we actually meet in Saint Denis. This is what he has to say about Leopard Strauss. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Okay, so that's really interesting. Charles informs John that Strauss was eventually captured by the Pinkertons, and I think we can infer that he was interrogated and that he was brutally tortured, and that he died in the custody of the Pinkertons without revealing any information about the gang. Now, say what you want about Leopard Strauss, but that is some serious loyalty right there. For someone that I'm sure a lot of people would call has a slimy or a snake-like personality, to not reveal any information about the people who kicked you out, especially Arthur, after you're being tortured and interrogated, that is pretty interesting. So we actually don't know when Strauss died. We don't know if this is a couple of months after he was kicked out of the gang, if it was a couple of days, or if it was a couple of years and maybe just a couple of uh, moments before John actually met Charles in Saint Denis. We don't get that information, but one can only guess once the end of chapter six happens and the gang ends up splitting up, that that's when Leopard Strauss ends up getting caught. So I would imagine that by the time we meet Charles as John in Saint Denis, it had been a couple of years since Strauss had ended up passing away. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. And that is what happens to Leopard Strauss after Arthur kicks him out of the gang in Red Dead Redemption 2. I thought that little factoid was very interesting and it sort of ties up his saga quite nicely. But as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What did you think of Leopard Strauss and what did you think of the way he ended up uh, leaving the gang and dying by the end of Red Dead Redemption 2? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.